Hey everybody, this is Jason from Rhino Tough Tanks. Today we're going to be assembling a gravity feed system. In addition to the stackable tanks, the components included in the gravity system include stand base with legs, drip tray set, accessories, and dispensing valves. These are the components included in our two tank system. Depending on the configuration that you choose, the components themselves may vary slightly. Important, apply the provided Teflon tape or approved thread sealant to all NPT connections per the sealant's instructions. Failure to do so will result in fluid leaks between the wetted connections. Please note this assembly should be done on a clean, level, load-bearing surface. In this step, screw each of the 24-inch legs into the underside coupler of the stand base. Use a pipe wrench or channel locks to secure tightly. Once you get the legs secured, it's important to have the foot flanges orientated in the same position. In this step, we're going to be attaching the drip tray set. For this, we'll need a 9 16 wrench. So we'll take the frame with the flat side up, orientate it so that the channel slides and encapsulates the legs. Then we'll take our 3 or 3 8 inch bolt, slide it through the openings, and attach the washer and nut, securing with the wrench. And then we'll repeat on the other side. Once that's snug, we're ready to insert the drip pans. The pans drop easily into their space. Be careful with the screens, the edges are very sharp. In this step, we'll be attaching our elbow kit to the front lip of our stand base. Again, you'll be needing a 9 16 inch wrench. The elbow kit comes with a 5 16 bolt, lock washer, and a nut. So as you guide the bolt through the hole on the front edge of the stand base, the front tab will, of the elbow kit will rest on top of that front lip. That gives it structural stability and will not allow it to turn once it's tightened. So hand tighten, then use the wrench to Snug that down. Now it's in place. So depending on the configuration of your tank system, you may need to repeat this process as many times as you have stacked tanks. With this next step, we'll be stacking the tanks onto the stand base. Because of the interlocking ribs, the tanks themselves will fall into place and align properly and resist any force moving side to side or front to back. When stacking the tanks, Place them in an order that works for your configuration. The load rating of each tank is the same regardless of its size. When moving the tanks, be sure to use a safe lifting technique. Save your body, grab a buddy. As easy as that. The next step is to assemble the dispensing components. First, with an adjustable wrench, we're going to remove each of the one inch plugs. Then we'll add the one inch poly elbow adapter. Again, make sure to sufficiently coat with either Teflon tape or an approved thread sealant. With the, with the pipe tape, I want to make sure to add it in a clockwise 
rotation. So that when you are adding into the tank, it tightens itself instead of unravels. So we're going to tighten that. snug and we're going to finish in a five o'clock position so that it's aiming towards the elbow kit. So the next step is to add our braided tubing. So this is going to arrive longer than necessary, allowing you to cut to length depending on the height of your bottom tank. So what I'm going to do is take the bottom end and insert it onto the barb fitting. Uh, you got to work it on until the edge meets the base of that barb fitting. Before we move any further, want to take both of the elbow or the uh, hose clamps slide them over the top just let them drop all the way to the bottom and then we'll want to measure and mark the hose leaving a little bit of curve natural so it hangs naturally mark it so that the top meets the top of the barb Take a, the hose cutter, cut at your line. Again, be careful to not cut yourself. From here, I'm going to attach the hose to the top barb, and then with a either flathead screwdriver or 5 16 nut driver. I'm gonna, going to secure the hose clamps. And the final step is gonna be installing the dispensing valves. So this particular valve is a one inch brass spring release valve with a locking handle for an added safety feature. So there'll be a one, in, one valve installed into the, uh, directly into the bottom of the bottom tank and then another valve into the elbow kit. So again, this is an NPT fitting. So we're gonna coat with the thread tape, clockwise rotation. Get it hand tightened and then again with your adjustable wrench Finish it so that it ends. In a six o'clock position. So we'll do that same thing. With the subsequent valve. Now there are many valve options but in this application we found the spring valve works the best so we'll want to repeat these steps for any additional stack tanks now we're ready to fill so once that's complete make sure to double check your connections for potential fluid leaks for more information check out our website www.rhinotoughtanks.com